Thank you, Vic. So on behalf of TELUS, it's a huge privilege to welcome all of you here. I could hear you. I know you're out there somewhere. I can't see any of you with the lights, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you're there. I'm going to pretend you're there as I speak to you. Uh, so uh, uh, my name's Eileen Kankel, and my career in science started at a very young age. Uh, on Christmas Eve 1968, that's the black and white picture up there, uh, at the age of, uh, of seven, uh, Apollo 8 was the first manned spacecraft to orbit the moon, and everyone was talking about how we'd have a man walking on the moon by summer. So my older brother wanted to make sure that we'd be ready for this momentous event, and so he created Space Camp. And my sister and I, my little sister and I, we were his trainees. And the training was really tough. Uh, so first of all, it involved being locked in the bathroom without any lights, so we would get used to the darkness of space. And then we were strapped to the dining room chairs and rocked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we would be ready for the stress of reentry. So uh, when, uh, in, in school, when we were asked to draw a picture of what we wanted to be when we grew up, and the girls beside me were drawing pictures of nurses and teachers and mothers with families, but I was a graduate of space camp. So I took my black crayon and I filled my page with the night sky. I was gonna be an astronaut. Though in school, I, I loved, through elementary and high school, I loved math and science. I loved that they were about solving problems and discovering things. Um, I loved that there was usually a right answer and that your grade wasn't dependent on whether your teacher liked you or liked what you wrote. There was an honesty to it. Um, I also loved that no one else in my family seemed to be any good at it. And my brother and sister, uh, sadly, uh, both of them had to become lawyers because uh, they, they just dropped math. Let that be a lesson to you. So while nobody in my family uh, was a scientist, everyone in my neighborhood was. I grew up in a small town outside of Ottawa that was called uh, Silicon Valley North because of the large number of computer and technology companies that were there. And, uh, and my neighbors told me uh, that computers were today's rocket ship and that uh, electrical engineering would be my ticket to get on board. So I studied engineering. And when I finished school, I got a job at IBM. And in the early 80s, if you were into computers at all, IBM was where everything was happening. So technology uh, has indeed been a rocket ship for me. And since I left the launch pad, I've had the great opportunity uh, to work in a number of different companies in many different industries. Some of them went supernova. But some of them, like IBM, are still shining bright. And today, I'm at TELUS where my team is responsible for developing technology uh, that improves our customer service. And it's a great job because I know that what I do every day makes a difference to you, to our customers. So I have a couple of things I wanted to share with you uh, that I learned along my journey. Uh, so first is always be a learner. Almost everything I learned in university became obsolete before I had the time to forget it. But my dean uh, explained to me that an engineering education is not about the formulas or about the technology. It's about learning how to learn. It's about taking a big, complicated thing and breaking it up into smaller parts. It's about um, learning to experiment and iterate through test and learn cycles. I've forgotten most of what I learned in university, but I've never forgotten what he told me. The second is to focus on things that are new. Uh, so when I started at IBM, I was asked uh, what technology I'd like to specialize in. And so one of the older men, he was known as uh, a guru in his field, one of the top in, in the world in what he did. And he said to me, he said, pick something that I don't know. He said, when, when it, uh, something is new, when a technology is new, a young person has just as much chance as anybody else to become an expert in it. And it was great advice. So within a couple of years, I became an expert in relational database technology, and I was known across IBM uh, as one of the few uh, leading people in that field because it was brand new, but everyone was looking to invest in it. So technology has been a rocket ship for my generation and for yours. It's changed our lives in so many ways, but it's just left the solar system. So enjoy today. Enjoy meeting fellow astronauts. Enjoy exploring new technologies. 
Imagine where these new ideas can go in the future. And imagine what it would be like to be part of that journey. Thank you. <laughs>